Simon Piles, and I'm bringing an all-star team of champion gymnasts to your hometown. This is where it all begins. That was in 2021. While a lot has happened since then, one thing remains the same, Simone Biles' intent to celebrate powerful female athletes. And so, following the success of the 2021 tour, the most decorated gymnast is bringing back what many have been waiting for. Simone Biles is known for many things, like celebrating female athletes and being a strong proponent of mental health are just some of the things she feels strongly about. It is not hard to guess that this is because of her own experience. She had previously shared how she felt like a failure after the Tokyo Olympics. It is no secret that she withdrew from the five-event finals at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, although she ultimately returned to earn bronze on the balance beam, her 32nd medal between the Olympics and World Championships. All this because she suffered from the twisties, which is a mental block that causes gymnasts to lose track of their position while mid-air. And so, USA Gymnastics announced shortly after that Biles had withdrawn from the individual all-around final, citing a need to prioritize her mental health. In a Vanity Fair interview, Biles said that her experience with the dreaded twisties and the related mental health issues she faced resulted in a landing far from perfect following the competition. Talking about her two-year hiatus from international competition, she said, I wish I could sit here and tell you it was glorious. When I took a break after 2016, I had the time of my life. I was doing anything and everything. But after 2020, it was kind of depressing until I started therapy and got help. I felt like a failure. She continued, Even though I was empowering so many people and speaking out about mental health, every time I talked about my experience in Tokyo, because it obviously didn't go the way that I had planned, it stung a little bit. But all in all, it was the best decision. Obviously, her time away from the mat, so to speak, worked wonders for her. As you all know, Simone announced her comeback in June. Two months later, she won a record-setting eighth all-around title at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships in August. Throughout the season, she lived up to her title of being the most decorated gymnast of all time. At the 2023 Artistic Gymnastics World Championships in Antwerp, Belgium, she won gold in the individual all-around, gold in the balance beam and floor, and silver in the vault. At 26, she also became the oldest U.S. woman athlete ever to win those medals. I felt like I was back in my element and it was exciting, she says. But I was truly petrified. I had the training to back it up because we worked really hard. I wasn't as confident or as comfortable as I wanted to be. She also stunned the world by nailing the Yurichenko double pike vault, which is now called the Biles II. This skill is one of the five skills named after her in the International Gymnastics Federation's Code of Points. Her comeback was proven successful not only by the medals and records she bagged throughout the years, but also the fact that she was named the 2023 Female Athlete of the Year by the Associated Press in the U.S., voted on by a panel of sports media professionals. Speaking on the Today Show in 2023, the seven-time Olympic medalist said that she was eagerly waiting for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. That's the path I would love to go, she said. But even if she doesn't, she won't be too devastated. If I don't make it to Paris, it won't absolutely crush me, she told Vanity Fair. Well, in the future, goodness, I feel like Paris is always a good topic to go to, but I think right now, I'm just going to live in the now. Biles told People, I just did classics and championships and I'm out here competing again when I never thought I would be competing, especially back to the same level and having the same confidence. And as part of her living in the now, Simone Biles is bringing back the Gold Over America Tour. According to its site, the Gold Over America Tour is a celebration of world-class gymnastics designed to inspire the next generation of champions. On the heels of the historic competition in Paris, the Athleta presents Gold Over America Tour starring Simone Biles will visit more than 30 U.S. arenas this fall. In addition to Biles, the tour website lists two-time World All-Around medalist Shalisi Jones, 2023 World All-Around Bronze medalist Fred Richard, and 2023 World Team Bronze medalist Melanie De Jesus Dos Santos as confirmed participants. 
The show is a little over an hour long and tickets are currently on sale for gymnastics clubs and groups. Gold Over America is set to begin in mid-September at Front Wave Arena in Oceanside, California, with stops in major American cities including LA, Chicago, and Brooklyn in October. It will continue until November 3rd when it ends in Detroit. The Gold Across America Tour, or GOAT, is the only one of its kind and is designed to inspire the next generation of gymnasts. The tour's website promises a high-octane, action-packed experience, like a pop concert that features world-class athletes. According to a news release, the 2024 Athleta Presents Gold Over America Tour will embody a message of hope, strength, resilience, and determination. While fans can't wait to see Simone Biles up close and personal during the tour, they are also looking forward to seeing her in Paris. But are we actually going to see Simone Biles in Paris? For now, no one knows for sure since the U.S. gymnastics team for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games will not be announced until the U.S. Olympic team trials in Minneapolis, Minnesota in July. That said, gymnasts will soon have the chance to try making the team. In fact, February marked the first major competition of the 2024 U.S. elite gymnastics season, the Winter Cup Challenge, set on February 23rd to 25th in Louisville, Kentucky. Speaking of which, you probably know that Biles did not participate in the Winter Cup, although she's not the only notable U.S. gymnast sitting out the event, as Jordan Childs also withdrew. To be fair, Biles doesn't need to be in the Winter Cup, which many women are using to qualify for the U.S. Championships in May, as she's already qualified as a member of last year's team for the World Championships, where she won, well, everything. Although Biles did not comment publicly about her exclusion from the Winter Cup roster, there is no indication she's dealing with an injury. Still, since Biles is aiming to become the oldest U.S. female gymnast to compete at the Olympics since 1952, she requires careful management and training in the coming months. That might be one reason she's sitting out the Winter Cup with larger goals in mind. Anyhow, the battle to make Team USA for the Paris Games could be even more intense than in past years, at least according to 2008 Olympic silver medalist Alicia Sacramoni, who is now part of the U.S. team leadership and served as the squad's high-performance strategic lead last year. She said, This is definitely going to be one of the tougher teams to make. She explained that veterans are coming back alongside younger seniors who are making a push to try to make a name for themselves. For now, Simone is enjoying her life behind the limelight. She recently spent vacation with her husband, Jonathan Owens, and other friends in Hawaii, and then celebrated her 27th birthday with her family. What happens from here, we just have to wait and see. And since we're waiting, here's yet another athlete we wish to see in Paris. 